Hey guys, welcome back. Android Andy here. I'm going to show you today. It's another. Oops, wrong one. It's a short, quick uh, app review. My work schedule, 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 whichever you prefer. Um, now I assume I'm like other people and everyone else puts their rotor onto their calendar in their phone. Um, I have a separate Google Calendar set up specifically for my rotor, um, so I can share that to people that I want to know when I'm working, when I'm like, you know, I'm a family or whatever. And this, you know, it always frustrated me that it actually took quite a long time just putting one shift in. Yeah, I'm working, yeah, this is my start time, this is my end time save. So, you know, when I generally do the same sort of shifts, there's only two or three different types of shifts that I do, um, I thought there's got to be an app out there that helps me with that, and there is my work schedule. Now this is the pro version which uh, it was only I think 95p, yeah 95p on Google Play. Um, to me the essential part of the pro one that it, that it synchronizes with your the calendar app, you have to have the Google Calendar app installed on your phone, it synchronizes whatever you put to that. And, you know, To me that's quite important, I didn't want to have to use the app to actually open the app to see what I was doing, I wanted the app to push the, my shifts to the calendar. So. Um, let's have a quick look at the settings first, I suppose, so I'll tell you which calendar I want. I can have different jobs, this is the pro version option, I can have different jobs, so um, you know, if you do do two or three jobs, you can put them in there. So presets, I put in a variety of different shifts, early, middle and late, and then a Sunday shift. Um, I can put more in, I can put up to 32 in the free version, 64 in the paid version. I kind of mean, you know, do people have that many different types of shift? So anyway, um, so there they are, and they're quite. They, actually, I, I was about to say they're quite easy to do. They are a little bit odd. So um, Saturday, let's say. So I put a put a description for it. Um, update schedule with change and enable time pickers. Okay, so I go to this one and I, and I scroll, and I'm back at the bottom. What? I go back up. Twelve twenty-three. Scroll. I'm back at the bottom. What? Fourteen. You know, that's really quite ha annoying. Now you can tap on it. This is the way I found it was a lot easier. But then I would find sometimes I'd make a change and it didn't seem to update. Okay, I want to put my own description in rather than time from the time pickers. Um, blah, 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 blah. Go Ooh, interesting. <laughs> um, I'm going to cancel that. So yeah, it could be a little bit annoying and frustrating. And I managed to put... I think my late shift had originally somehow spanned one day to a next, but uh, I managed to get it back to normal. So when the presets are set, you, you're laughing really, off you go. So there are the presets, let's see. So enter schedule. So Saturday the 26th, what shift am I doing? And literally, I suppose I can do it anyway, I can delete them afterwards. I go, yeah, I'm early that day, Sunday, it's a Sunday shift obviously. I'm late on Monday, I'm early Tuesday. And you just go through, ch -ch -ch -ch, and they've now all appeared, look. Early, Sunday, late, early. Um, I think, there we go. Delete this day. Delete this day. Delete this day. What do I forget? Edit, I presume I get to choose a different preset. Yeah, so red is, I'm normally, I've said I'm early, but I'm actually, I've changed to a late. Have I? Oh yeah, now I'm doing more days. Whoops, I didn't even notice. So, delete this day. And that's it, really. Um, so 95 pence. For me, money well spent. That will then appear on my my regular calendar. Um, and there, keep ending the wrong. There we go. So my work schedule. Pro, uh, well, this is the pro version, 95p. My name's Andy. Catch you all again soon.